Hi everybody, this is Kwabana here from OpenMV and today I'm going to be showing off the new linear regression feature your OpenMV cam is going to have which will let you do linear regressions on thresholded image pixels in an image. The reason I added linear regression support is because I'm now competing in the uh, DYI uh, Robocar um, group in Oakland, California and um, Linear regressions are the way to go to be able to actually uh, follow a line versus using blob tracking, which um, kind of doesn't pan out too well if the line is horizontal, which can sometimes happen when your robot's going very quickly. Anyway, so with linear regression, you basically have a way of detecting a line in the image that works in 360 degrees. Linear regressions are different from uh, using the find line, finds, excuse me, the find lines algorithm that uh, is powered by the hue detector because uh, with this algorithm you just get one line output versus many which is kind of just what you need to make a line following application anyway so we have two different versions of the uh, it's called um, get regression algorithm because it gets the linear regression of whatever image pixels at thresholds in the image are uh, you have the basic non-robust version, which is what I'm showing off right now. This uses the least squares algorithm to do a linear regression of all thresholded uh, pixels in the image. And it's able to run at about 85 FPS at a QQVGA grayscale. So, you know, just the speed you need for an actual line following application. You can also even detect when the linear regression goes off the, well, goes out of bounds pretty much. If you see the uh, magnitude number, that falls down to a very low number like one or two when you don't have a good linear regression lock and then flies back up to about 16 to 17 or so when you have a good lock and so on and so forth. Anyway, so this is the non-robust linear regression. It uh, doesn't really handle outliers. That's why it's not called robust. If you want a, a version that can handle outliers very, very easily, we then have a robust version of the linear regression algorithm. Also, just um, for show, you can the, the default example scripts that are supplied with the uh, OpenMV IDE uh, can actually threshold the image for you so you can see exactly what's going on. As you can see, this large block of pixels out there completely throws off the linear regression of the line right here. Anyway. So we also have a robust script. If you turn on the robust script, things are going to be a little bit different. So the robust script needs to run on 80 by 60 pixels. It can still go quite fast, and it's able to handle outliers, as you can see, without losing the line lock. The way the robust algorithm works is to actually compute the slope between all pairs of pixels in the image. This is a n-squared operation. So if you see a lot of pixels in the image, it can easily destroy your frame rate and drop you down to 7 FPS. So if you're using the robust algorithm, you need to make sure to keep the number of pixels that are actually being thresholded to white values low. The more unthresholded pixels that appear, the faster your frame rate drops. It's quite possible just to get down into the sub FPS, sub 1 FPS frame rates very, very easily if you show it a whole image with all pixels set. Anyway, as long as you can avoid doing that, this algorithm will work quite well for finding lines. So here's an example of how the robust algorithm can handle a... Let me see, I got some test vectors here. How the robust algorithm can handle a track. So if you can see, like, we have a, a lane here with um, some outside lines and a dotted line in the center. And as you can see, the robust algorithm is able to track all three of them quite easily. The uh, centroid, well, the uh, center of the line jumps around a bit, but as long as you're just using the angle, it's actually using the entire field of view as a support vector for driving. This is in contrast to the fast linear regression, which is not able to handle that and will actually draw a line diagonally through all three lines. This is because the outliers are the two lines on the side and it gets confused by that. Anyway, so with robust linear regression, you'll be able to actually now easily build a line following robot after thresholding the image that should be able to 
work um, without having to worry about the uh, robot falling off the line too far. Like for example, uh, the line following script that uses blob tracking cannot handle a line condition like this where you're rotated slightly. And this is because it looks for horizontal bands and doesn't actually compute the line in the case that you're fully vertical towards it. Anyway, that is uh, the new linear regression feature for your OpenMV cam, and hopefully it's going to make uh, building line following robots easier. All right, thank you very much.